people were very happy with the plot twist that happened in episode 3, but a lot of people are also kind of upset that we have a brand new character. It's like, what do you expect, bro? Raphael dead. Like, I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. It's also really funny how in the opening scene, Raphael's face is just changed with this new guy, right? Oxy or something. This new character is definitely quirky. Weird. They're like duelists and they take on jobs to kill. But after killing so much, he has this built up guilt and thinks about like, does heaven really exist? Are we going to get punished? Am I a sinner? Do I need to keep repenting? And like, there's this cognitive dissonance in his head of trying to believe what the truth could be to the point where at the end of the episode, right? The heretic provokes both Okzi and his friends and kind of pushes them to go chase after the treasure chest that, you know, Raphael left the letter in. I think that we're building up to that moment that we saw at the end of, I think, episode three, where two people find that chest with the letter saying Earth, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, it's our favorite executor. この遺産はペーターさんの足りなされんのもな。ノバクさん。前々使う。え、ポアアティチュード。我々は神に使え。信仰の安定を守るために働い。あ、アクセスパーソナリティ。ノバクさんの責任になるって分かってます。ヘル
Are we that illiterate? I think that we are literate though, right? Bro is like tracking down Mars and shit. Lock in, let's go. Alright, we're walking up to the chest. You muted the mic so you don't have to hear that. It's fine, bro. You saved their life back there. Alright, the sky. Is it a chest? Did we find it? Here we go. Time to figure out Rafael's letter. The soundtrack. So, are we literally illiterate? So we can't read. Novak was right. Passing down the idea from one man to the next. ある時、視界や行動を考慮し、ここ一帯で一番の大きなことに気づいた。そこにある二つの大岩のそれぞれに中央オリオンのベルトが掘られていた。そしてそれに対応するように、空腹が見える。一体そこに何が？The secret location of the chest。そしてこの箱に出。箱を残したのが誰でなぜ放置されていたのか。生きさつはわからないながら、人類の歴史と運命を変えてしまうものだ。のせいで私が死んだ。So Novak's guess was bullshit. We're not illiterate. They thought that we were illiterate. We can completely read. I mean, we were literally just making documents and like you know drawing Mars orbit rotation. I wonder if Oxy can't read them.幸福な命だったと断言できる。婚されている資料を確認されたい。Okay. Can you read, bro? <laughs> okay. No, that was right about him. Where do we go now? It had the poppy seed poison for Raphael in the past, but I wonder. Oh, wait. Still no go. Look at it. Bro. Bro, are you serious? Maybe that's super important. Like this single decision will shape the outcome of whether or not you know Okuze will live. I feel like something bad's gonna happen now because you know our friend is taking it instead. I don't know. You're not him. You can't have that. But Oxy didn't want it, so okay. Hi, Hi. Yomo. Eh, kono hoshizora no himi niyori liyeki ga shoujita baai, sono ichiwari wo ototsuki ni zouyo suru koto. Jiusho wa te kekyo ku naiyo wa kakarete nai na. So like, put this letter, but this letter is written by Raphael, though, right? This is the exact same letter that was written by Raphael before he, you know, went out. He even wrote the earth on the table. Otoski is the last name of our father. He's saying, support the father, even though he low-key betrayed us? <laughs> Who's Potoski then? What was that name from? Who was that? I don't remember another dude named Pototsky. Is anyone paying attention? Wait, wait, wait. 
You motherfucker just AFK. You don't even watch this show. You're just fucking waiting for Mao 2099 and fucking Blue Lock to happen. Plotowski adopted the father. So he is the father. You're gaslighting me. I got monkeys fucking gaslighting me saying he's not the father. And then other dudes are on like fucking 15 minute mobile delay saying it is the father. Jesus Christ. We're really slacking today. そして、君は街にも組合にも戻れないだろう。しかし自己弁護する。全てを逆転できるかもしれん。この記録の量を見るに、ただの思い何かだろう。Can they figure this out?。そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、
He only seeks heaven. The world is disgusting to him. What an interesting character. I mean, if all he worries about is the future, the end outcome. But like, what if that's not even the case, right? We're all gonna die anyways, and we're gonna go to heaven or hell, so we should worry about that. Why not think about, like, what if that's not the case? What if heaven and hell doesn't exist, and you wasted your entire fucking life the moment that you actually had to live on the earth, and you just wasted it thinking of a, like, a predetermined outcome? Because the truth. It's the exact reason. Because you will die, you should love the world during this, you know, finite time that you have, where you just live an empty, hollow life. The orb. The three positions, the stars that he saw before. I can actually see now. Can he even decide for himself? Don't you dare snitch. I'ma thug it out myself. Oh? oh. <laughs> Holy shit, the structural integrity of this thing. That book. Is he gonna die here? Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't think about that. I gave him an early 07 thinking he was gonna die. Isn't it kind of interesting though? If this world is just us dying, then we should only care about going to heaven or hell. Okuzi is doing all he can to like save this man, but or, 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 aren't like people with that mindset? Maybe he's doing this on behalf of Grass, and he doesn't. Okuzi himself won't like oppose, like uh, impose his beliefs onto him. But you remember the uh, contradiction: the people that are so eager to go to heaven, but when they're faced with that chance of death, they're gonna do everything it takes to live. <laughs> he's still yapping. God, you fucking piece of shit! Stop talking right now. You know what you should do? He should rock back and forth. He should rock back and forth, get the momentum, then jump to the fucking brick. He should jump to the fucking brick that's right next door. We could both live right now. What are we doing? <laughs> Bruh, make the jump. It's that ideological thing again. The title drop here. Wait, even if I die, the world will continue. Is the title drop. You, that's you. Then you pass it on to someone else. You fear it. Exactly. Right. GG grass. Until we see his body drowning or confirmation. I don't believe he's dead, but it's looking like he's dead. We got the book though. I mean we got the necklace. I hear rich evil people. Never mind, church people. That haircut is crazy. Maybe we're talking about that blonde guy that we're trying to find. There he is. 
ですよバーデニーバーデニー,ー,デニーそんな予定はないですが<笑>どちら様何の用で Would you like to know about heliocentrism? The end. And that's another episode of Orb. Today's episode got a little bit more deep into Okutsi's mindset. The way that the skies are looking down on him. He fears the heavens. He genuinely does. He says that, like, I don't know. He's definitely fearing the skies, right? It's because of the intro scene from last episode, which may hint that, like, he was in trouble before for looking up and, you know, maybe he's getting a bit too close to the truth and maybe he even recanted. Not sure. There's no confirmation, but he may have strike one. Grass dies. I feel like there's no need for him to die there. Like, come on, bro. You tell me he's just gonna die when he could have literally jumped the side of the fucking rocks over here? Or even if he did go in the water, did he just drown? Maybe it's rapid currents. I'm not really sure, but I just feel like this is so annoying because, like, look. Like, bro. The, these dudes can fight like bro it's like like look at the distance move your fucking arm and you could fucking grab onto the wall whatever it, it it's 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 a minor detail that doesn't need to happen the reason that he quote unquote died is so that oxy will inherit his will right the person will die by the idea will continue is the theme as we go from you know Raphael to that heretic that sacrificed himself for oxy and you know grass too now he meets this dude Dabini, he apparently he's like a contrarian, implying that he too knows the truth about the world or, you know, may research it. So now that these two meet, maybe some more shenanigans will happen. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.